Today we're going to discuss uh, pump maintenance and cleaning of the Henry pumps. Henry has two styles of pumps, direct drive pumps and magnetic drive pumps. The direct drive pumps, pretty easy to clean. You basically have a pre-filter that just needs to be removed, flushed out with a garden hose. You can visually see when it's clean and when it's not. If that is the only problem, because it could be obstructed with leaves, sticks, debris, and just causing no water to get to the, to the pump, then you may be done. If it's still not running, uh, you might want to try taking the impeller cover off, which I've already done here, and loosen those screws. You take it off, you'll see that you have an impeller, and it's directly connected to the motor uh, of the direct drive pumps. These pumps have a lot of torque, so if you have a lot of calcium buildup here, which would be from evaporating hard water, uh, these pumps will generally just start to spin and that calcium is not likely going to stop them from spinning. But you never know. Check it out. If it's clean and you put back together and the pump is still dead, then it probably needs replacement if it's under warranty. On our magnetic drive pumps, if you're familiar with those or not, they are a little bit more susceptible. Well, they are a lot more susceptible to evaporating hard water and leaving calcium deposits uh, in and around the pumps. Again, start by removing the intake cover. There's a impeller in here, which has two gaskets. One, of the, one gasket is there on the stainless steel shaft. <clears throat> then you can pull out the impeller. Uh, it's a cylindrical magnet with a bladed impeller. It's gonna spin one way or the other as soon as the pump is plugged in. Create an electrical field in here, it causes the impeller to spin. If you notice, the diameter of that impeller and the diameter of that housing is very, very close. And if you do have a lot of evaporating hard water and the pump hasn't run for a while, as that evaporates, it's gonna form a lot of calcium deposits around that impeller and around that magnet, and it will lock it up and it will not have enough torque like a direct drive pump had to break through that calcium deposit. So you need to either submerge the whole pump in a vinegar solution. My preference would be a, a store-bought line remover like a CLR. There's no real need to take it all apart like I just did. You could just completely submerge the pump in the solution or take it apart, take everything apart, and physically just clean it with a cotton swab and the CLR. When you're all done, you put it back together, knowing that it's clean. If it, you plug it in and it works, we're good to go. If it doesn't work at that point, we may consider buying a new impeller, which they are available at the website for every various pump. So this could be defective. Check and see if it spins just a certain amount. It'll go one way or the other, and if it stops, then the impeller was probably good and the pump is dead. If it continues to spin, then the seal does, it has been broken and you do maybe just need a new impeller to make the problem uh, fixed.